everyone, it's Maki here. The movie Gundam Seed Freedom is still creating excitement. It seems that Sunrise and Bandai are making efforts to keep the excitement going as long as possible. Director Mitsuo Fukudo is sharing various information with us every day. This episode will contain spoilers for the movie. We recommend those who want to watch the movie without prior information to skip this part. Today, we are going to review the content of an interview with Mitsuo Fukuda that was published in Anime Times and Banshan Online. It reveals discussions about the piloting skills of Kiro Yamoto and Ophiram Tao. Of course, Keep in mind that these are just the director's personal interpretations and that different content may appear in the setting material collections that will be released in the future. Are you ready? Press the subscribe button to deploy your ray entry equipment. If you don't press the button, your mobile suit will burn up. I wish you good luck. Let's look at the comments about Shinosuka. He appeared as the protagonist in Sea Destiny and played a major role in the movie as well. Many of Shin's fans were unhappy with how he was treated towards the end of Destiny. Mr. Fukudo spoke about Shin's past situation and his achievements in the movie. In this movie, Hiro and Loras are at the center of the story. Some fans seem to think that Shin played a very important role, bringing a conclusion to his story that started in Destiny. I don't think Shin has changed much as a character. Shin has always been the kind of person depicted in the movie. Kiro is very common depending on how you look at it a bit distant. Shin is often seen as a character defined by anger but he is actually very friendly and kind at heart. The long gap between the production of Sea Destiny and the movie made it easier to express Shin's true character. When Shin gets angry, he fights with eyes full of rage, just like in Destiny. This is because of his pure heart, his anger explodes in a big way. Some fans are impressed by the scene where Shin destroys the Requiem. They see it as the climax of Shin's story, which continued from Destiny. I didn't express it with such deep intentions, haha. It just so happened that the Zeus silhouette was the only weapon capable of destroying the Requiem. And so Shin was the only one who could take on the task of destroying it. The Zeus silhouette can only be used by extremely powerful mobile suits such as Freedom Justice and Destiny Freedom is engaged in battle with Black Knight's Squad Color. Justice is in a state with a damaged arm. And the Zeus silhouette is originally a weapon of Destiny. Akatsuki is seen using it, but it's only a temporary loan. Analyzing the director's words, it's clear that Akatsuki is not officially compatible with the Zeus silhouette. In the spin-off series Astray, a technology appears that allows the use of both the striker pack and the silhouette system. It appears that Akatsuki is equipped with a similar system. It's interesting how Impulse Gunnam Spec 2 and Destiny Gunnam Spec 2 appeared in the final battle. It might not have been Compass who officially repaired them, but who secretly did it. There's a joke among fans that Ob might be the real mastermind in the Seed world. The fact that Ob secretly recovers and analyzes Taft's strong card Gunnams to strengthen his own forces is astonishing. After the final battle of Sea Destiny, there's a scene where Infinite Justice reaches out to Shin and Luna Maria, perhaps after us and rescued Shin and Luna Maria, or gathered the remaining Impulse and Destiny Gunnams. Mr. Fukuda also commented on Kiro's emotional state during the Sea Destiny era. 
During Destiny, Kira was emotionally distraught not only because of Slay's mother, but also because many of his comrades had died. The relationship between Kira and Slay was different from that of lovers. Kira saw Slay as a place to escape to. Slay, regretting that she tried to use Kira and did terrible things to him, does not reunite with Kira's lovers. After their final battle in sea, they wanted to start their relationship from scratch, not as lovers. Slay makes a brief appearance in the movie in a photo in Kira's room. Including Slay's character was an element I insisted on. It's not that she's his ex-girlfriend, but Kira can't bring herself to display Slay's photo prominently. Lars knows Slay's face. So Kira deliberately places a photo where Slay is only slightly visible. But Lars understands everything. It seems that the director appreciates the relationship between Slay, Kira and Lars. The theme song of Seed, Believe, contains the lyrics A Young Love Crumbles Away. It seems that the relationship between Kiro and Slay was not love, but crumbled away in the situation of war. In the movie, Kiro declares his love for Lars. However, the fact that Slay also remains in his heart is a surprising truth. Mr. Fukuda also commented on the relationship between Kiro and Ophia's pilots. Miss Morosawa's plot includes the battle between Kiro and Ophi. Their final showdown will be a two-on-two -two battle. It's written that Kiro and Ophi are equal, and the presence of Lars and Ingrid decides the outcome. I also struggled with Kiro saying, I love you explicitly. Miss Morosawa said that the phrase I love you sounds frivolous. In fact, Miss Morosawa was not very enthusiastic about the relationship between Kiro and Lars either. She said it was strange to give the man you like a mobile suit and send him into battle. It seems she felt a disconnect in sending someone off to battle while talking about love and being in love. However, such a story would not work as a robot and me. We researched how to construct a story well. Miss Morosawa finally said for the movie, it's most important that the director makes what he wants to make. There were many comic scenes in the movie, but it was never about being frivolous. The final fight scenes are based on solid theory. She wins by superior intuition. Athran wins by superior firepower. Only Kira, who fights off in equal measure, cannot win with strengths alone. In fact, all three win with the strengths of women. There is one character who echoes Miss Morosawa's sentiments, Agnes. She tells Kira Lars is terrible, staying in a safe place herself while sending her lover to a dangerous battlefield. I would never do that. Perhaps this reflects the struggles that Mr. Fukuda faced while creating the story. After hearing Agnes' words, Kira angrily says you don't understand anything and leaves. Paying attention to the relationships between the heroines and the protagonists while watching the movie can lead to interesting discoveries. Kira and Lars often say I love you in the movie. Mr. Fukuda has talked about his difficulties with such direct expressions. Miss Morosawa was adept at avoiding direct expressions and thinking of lines that convey intentions. In Seed, when Kira and Athran reunite in Nob, there's very little dialogue. Athran says yours as he hands Kira a body. Kira painfully replies it's something precious a dear friend gave me. Destiny also features distinctive words spoken by Lars to Mir. 
She describes Mia as a person with the same face, as me a person with the same voice, as me a person different from me. She never uses the term false. I think the charm of Sid lies in such dialogues. So the production of the film was a struggle. I was convinced that I could not write such words. A film is a kind of festival. In the limited time of two hours, it must provide an experience that evokes a full range of emotions such as joy, sadness, and anger in the audience. The story I wrote and the story Miss Moore also were, both might be fundamentally different. However, she said it's good for the director to create what he loves. I think Miss Moore also are, would also watch the movie with a smile. Many fans who had a different impression from the past TV and he had analyzed the Seed series very accurately, overcoming many struggles to entertain the audience. Gundam Seed Freedom is the result. To those in regions where the movie will be released, please enjoy it. It's a work full of charm that will make you want to watch it again and again. Let's meet again in the next program.